Lamentations chapter 3 and verses 22 to 24. This small poetic book of Lamentations was composed during the fall of Jerusalem to the invading Babylonian armies in the early years of the 6th century BC. Ongoing Jewish tradition enshrines this history by reading the book on the 9th of Ab, July and August, the day on which the final fall of the Jerusalem Temple in 70 CE is remembered. It is a solemn day when hopes seem distant and God silent. The first four chapters are acrostic poems. In other words... Oh, good Lord, this is boring. Who cares about Babylonian armies in the 6th century BC, for goodness sakes? <laughs> Where do the Babylonians keep their armies? Up their sleeves. Ha, the olden's are the best. But I will admit, hope does seem distant and God does seem to be silent. I used to think that God was with me every day. I felt him close. I used to pray every day and I really felt that he was listening to me. Still, this strikingly artificial literary strategy has yielded some powerful language and very memorable phrases. Powerful language? I'll give you some powerful language. About the nature of suffering and the role of God in that suffering also appear. Suffering. Hmm. I know all about that. Since Bill developed dementia and went into the care home, he suffered and I've suffered. I felt terrible letting him go. But I was just so tired. I still am really tired of the guilt. Note the use of besieged, walled in, a way blocked with stones and arrows shot into the vitals. Arrows shot into the vitals? Ooh, uh, that doesn't sound good. These are vivid descriptions of ancient siege warfare, culminating in the destruction of buildings and the slaughter of inhabitants. When hopelessness seemed complete, the singer cries, Gone is my glory and all that I had hoped for from the Lord. Yeah, that's me. My hopelessness seems complete. But just three verses later, there is an astonishing transformation. This I call to mind, and therefore I have hope. What this is becomes the key to the rest of the poem. Hope. I love that word. Hope. It's very definite, decisive. Hope. Almost defiant, really. I have hope. I wish I could recover some of the hope that I once did get from my faith. But I don't know. I just don't seem to be able to hear God speaking to me anymore. It all seems so dry and boring and dull and dusty and just old somehow. Verse 22 reads, The steadfast love, chesed, of the Lord never ceases. Although... Well, I guess that's true. Well, it has to be, doesn't it? If God's love is steadfast, then nothing has changed. He is still the same after all. God's mercies never come to an end. The unbreakable and active love of God. Hope in our hopelessness. The promise of joy in our sorrows. New every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Oh yes, I know that hymn. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. All I have needed, my God has provided. Hmm. To me. However dark the night, however deep the fear, however hopeless the situation, we rely on the steadfast love of God and give ourselves over to the one who is always the source of our hope.
Thank mm-hmm. you.